Welcome back everyone. This time I'm going to work on making the uh, basically the air inputs for the engine. I was going to make something very similar to what I did on this engine. Just a kind of a cover plate with some uh, airflow patterns and some tubes coming out. And it's going to be that, but I decided to make it a little more interesting. So the base piece will be this, controlling the airflow to uh, to the various uh, inputs on the engine block. But the top half will be a compound scroll piece angled with tubes coming in at an angle. So they'll angle back towards the back of the engine. And that's the plan anyway. So, let's get started. I'll cut out that piece first and then work on that. Also, I've decided to make it so I could remove it. So there's going to be a hole drilled in there for a screw. Trying something a little different here. For the uh, part that's going to go against the engine, I've just used some uh, spray on adhesive and I stuck some of this rubber, some of this foam mat that uh, I got it at Walmart, 40 some cents. And uh, that'll just be my kind of my gasket when it's screwed onto the side for a better air seal. It seems to have worked well enough. So then I'll end up screwing on basically over these holes, like so. But I need to uh, build the top piece now. Okay, the way this pattern is going to work, let's see. We'll cut out the top piece and drill the hole. Then we'll cut off this, these chunks here so we can put it on its side and then drill the holes. This pattern will go right on the end. So I'll just step through it. And see how it turns out. Alright, draw out the hole for the screw axis. Put some uh, glue in there, and we just take this pattern, put it on this way, best we can. So we'll just put it like, hold it like this. Drill our two paths in for our tubes. We should be good. pattern here. Um, these will be the tubes for the air input that are going to go in here. Um, about with about 7 eighths of an inch 
Not sure, it seems a little long looking at the pattern now, but we'll see. I'll kind of cut it off the same way I did the other tube spacers. I'm glue this on here. This one is going to be an angled cut at 45 degrees. And the rest will just be straight. Okay. Quick and easy. Of course this will be hot, so always be careful. Just clean up the edges a little bit. We're good to go. Okay, the next step is essentially I'm going to put them in here like this. So I'm going to just dry fit them for the moment. So we're going to go on like that. Make sure everything fits. It's real nice. Clearly, I didn't make them the same length, but it's odd. Okay. Glue in place. I'm just going to line the holes with some wood glue. It's worked pretty good in the past for this. Seems to adhere plenty good to the, the brass. And actually works as kind of a lubricant for the initial insertion. If you only get one shot at it and then it seizes up. Uh, see? Uh, oh, geez, already? Come on. Well, that went in tighter than I thought it would, so now I'm stuck. I have to. Alright, it's completely tight in there. I'll just glue the next one in and we'll figure that out. So, real quick, my battery's almost dead. I want to finish this up. I'm going to spread some glue on here and glue these together. That will be my air input. Just going to put a pretty thin layer on here just because we don't want it to plug our holes. We can put a little around the edge here just to do a little extra seal. So just put a little on there. We'll put it together. It was pretty close. I'm going to line it up so my screw goes in too. Okay. So I'll just let that set up and uh, screw it on and see how it works out. Alright, so we have our two air inputs made. All glued together. I did a light, a light coat of poly on those. I'll just uh, I'll take one off here quick. We'll go with this one. Mm -hmm. Put the screw right on. And I'll be adding those holes to my engine block plan. Let's put that back on here. I have a little bit of a dilemma. Because I kind of like how I made these where they're detachable. Where this, once glued on, it's permanent. It's never coming off. And quite frankly, I think the tubes look cooler than this is going to look. So, I have to decide whether I'm going to finish up by making another one of these, gluing them on and having it just set that way, or go with more of a, a tube configuration. Anyway, thanks for watching.